Well, today's gonna be an interesting commentary, guys. This video is going to resonate with everybody. Whether you're somebody who comes to my channel to hate on me, or you're somebody who subscribed and loves my content. This is a video and a topic that we can all universally agree on. And you guys saw the title. That's the fact that Call of Duty is full of cheating losers. Now, this video is going to feature a few victims, a few people that I'm gonna be calling out for their absolutely blatant cheating in Call of Duty. And the first one we're gonna be talking about is a dude named Mixon here. Now, I want to preface this by saying, Mixon, the only time you've ever seen vagina is whenever you were born out of your mother's dirty snatch. And I know if you're watching this video, bud, you're probably pretty triggered right now, and you got those keyboard warrior fingers all ready to throw some blanket response at me like all of you fucking Call of Duty fanboy little cheater scumbag rats do every single time. Your response will more than likely be, your argument holds no weight, it's a skill issue, you need to get better you'll probably say that you have more subscribers than me so stay mad or cry or something whatever stupid shit you end up saying just know your opinion is 100 percent irrelevant because you are a cheating fucking rat now, of course, all of these are just baseless accusations until I actually provide proof that the person in question here is actually cheating. And really, it's not that hard to find the proof you're looking for when the person you're dealing with is an absolute smooth brain. So let's just take a look here at his YouTube channel. But before I get into that, I would like to preface this by saying I'm not sure if the title he's putting here is a bait title in order to get people to click his video and dislike it and provide him with engagement because he's claiming to be cheating. But I wouldn't be surprised if he's actually actually using this. So I'm going to put this screenshot up on screen right now. And it says Zim Matrix Super Sticky Aim Assist Settings Insane 79 KD Modern Warfare 3. And for those who are unaware about what a Zim Matrix actually is, don't worry. Mixon has you covered because he's not only self-snitching in the title, he's also self-snitching in the comments. So this guy here on his video was asking a question regarding the Zim. And his question was, the Zim Apex is used to have aiming assistance on keyboard and mouse right? If so, how do you make the connections with the Zim Apex and do you need a controller for that? Thanks. And Mixon responds with, yes, you need a controller too. Now, like I said earlier, I'm not sure if he's just putting Zim Matrix in the title to farm engagement or he's actually cheating, but let's just give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he's a half decent controller player, right? One thing's for certain after you take a gander at his page is that he is 150% manipulating the out of the matchmaking in this game. Pair that with the fact that he's using a Zim Matrix, and this is what you get. Read it in, weep, guys. This is Mixon's Modern Warfare 3 career stats. He has six days played, seven hours and 48 minutes, 1,028 games. He averages 80.47 kills. He has 1151 score per minute, and this is my personal favorite, a 21 Point two nine KD with 82,728 kills and 3,885 deaths. His win-loss ratio is 101. 0 0.80 his highest kill streak is 736 and his highest kills a game is 885 now my question to you bud is who do you think you're fooling with these absolutely hilariously fraudulent stats you might be able to fool some of your fanboys or the stupid idiots on twitter that believe you you might be able to fool the young impressionable audience you have on youtube but you're not going to be able to fool me who's been playing the game for 15 years and my audience that can see through the bullshit. You are Call of Duty's biggest fraud right now. And before you ask, no, I'm not gonna 1v1 your Australian ass. One, I'm in Canada and I don't wanna have to deal with 250 ping playing against you just to prove a point. And two, I don't wanna play against an absolute scumbag cheater that more than likely will manipulate the game in some way to secure a win or at least try to secure a win. Because unlike the people you play against, bud, I'm an actual top 1% player. I actually have close to a 4kd on this game and I don't cheat and I don't reverse boost and most importantly I can actually aim with a mouse and not 
not have aim assist. So if it wasn't for the fact that you were blatantly cheating, I might actually give you a shot at a 1v1, but because your credibility has gone down the fucking toilet, I don't even want to give you the time of day. But I think the funniest part about this entire situation with this absolute clown is not the fact that I'm clowning him in this video, it's the fact that he's taking L's left and right from everybody in the community, including the Activision shills. And this is actually a rare instance where I actually agree with a modern shill zone take. And he said, you're using a macro to make your single fire weapon shoot full auto with zero recoil cheating and posting it to the timeline to brag about how fast you got a nuke against a lobby filled with literal robots. Congratulations on being the fourth cheater to self-report this week. Clown emoji. And boy oh boy the irony in this clip is absolutely hilarious. As you heard from Modern Warzone, this guy's using a DG58 which is a triple burst weapon and he's making it fully automatic through the use of a macro which is also cheating. But let's go take a gander at Mixin stats once again and let's look Pay attention to what his top weapon is. Oh, what is that? It's the DG58. So you're telling me he's cheating with a Zim. Aim assist on mouse and keyboard. He's manipulating the matchmaking by getting absolute literal bot lobbies. And then on top of that, he's using the DG58, which is the most broken gun in the game when you use a macro to make it fully automatic. But anyways, this clown aside, I can't help but wonder why the fuck Ricochet doesn't work. This entire situation and all of these types of players could be avoided if the ricochet anti-cheat actually worked properly. I've said this before, I know, I understand, ricochet anti-cheat, or any anti-cheat for that matter, is not going to be perfect. But I've said this before and I'll say it again. The amount of cheaters in Call of Duty is bigger than any other game. Valorant is an example I like to use all of the time. Valorant has an anti-cheat that although is not perfect, it gets most of the cheaters out of the game. That is a PC exclusive game. A lot of people like to blame crossplay for the introduction of cheaters. And although I agree the vast majority of cheaters are on PC, the real energy and anger should be directed towards Activision and the fact that they cannot develop a proper working functioning anti-cheat. And this tweet from Shilly Intel proves my point 100%. This is at Distowed. He's another known cheater. And as you can see here, the anti-cheat is doing its job, just not in the right way. If you look at this clip right here, he actually falls out of the sky in Warzone and instantly hits the ground and dies. Well, whenever he jumps off of the roof, the tiny little thing here that shouldn't kill him, it does kill him again. And that's because there's a thing called Splat, which is anti-cheat for Ricochet. And basically what it does is when it detects that somebody is cheating, it'll put the these things in place. Like last year, we saw it a lot with Warzone 2. Whenever someone was getting caught cheating, they would empty a clip into someone. You'd get all the hit markers, right? But you just wouldn't do any damage to anyone. This is one of those things, like a mitigation tactic for people trying to fuck with the cheaters. And this really begs the question, if you have a system that can detect that somebody is cheating, why the actual fuck are they not banned? I understand this is kind of funny to a degree that the cheaters don't get any damage on their side. They can't do damage to anybody with their gun. I find it funny that they jump out of the air and hit the ground and die instantly. They're scumbags. They deserve this. But what really makes me wonder is how they keep playing these games over and over and over again. Their accounts never get banned, they continue to do it, and I really don't know how anybody can defend this anti-cheat. The anti-cheat is a fucking atrocity. It is terrible. They need to do something because at this point in time, Call of Duty as a whole, for me, when I'm thinking about competitive games and games with competitive integrity, Call of Duty has none anymore. Coming from a good player, it becomes extremely frustrating to be good at something and taking years to get good at that just for people to turn around and call me a cheater and accuse me of cheating because there's so many scumbags like this running around. Maybe if we had a functioning anti-cheat, we'd actually be able to tell apart the good players, the actual top 1% from the people that are just cheating scumbags. That's my opinion on the entire situation. I have nothing else to add today. If you guys enjoyed today's rant, make sure to like the video and share this with your friends to expose all of the cheating scumbags in today's video. If you like the content and want to see more, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn that notification bell on so you never miss when I upload a video and I'll catch everybody in the next one. Peace.